Okay, so here's a comparison question where we have these people and they have certain amounts of stuff related to each other and Nikki has N stamps. So she has half as many stamps as Mark has. Um, so she has N stamps and this is equal to half of whatever Mark has. So Mark would have twice as many as her. And if you, they say all together, they have a hundred more stamps than Basilio has. So in terms of N, how many stamps does Basilio have? So if you add these two up, um, that would equal what Basilio has plus a hundred. So Basilio has some amount of stamps plus a hundred. So if you want to figure out how many he has, we would solve this in terms of N because we don't know how many stamps there are to begin with. You're solving in terms of n, you're describing what Basilio has um, based on whatever n would be originally. So you get some statement, this n and that n, that's times 2 or whatever, that's what Basilio has. So I subtract 100 from both sides and I combine these th 2 to get 3n minus 100. And that is what Basilio would, would have in terms of their work, excuse me, their stamps together. And in the next problem, now this problem really stumped me, um, but a colleague of mine really helped me out, and she realized that in this diagram we have A, B, C, D, that's a square, here A, B, C, D, that's a square, and B, E, D is an arc of a circle centered at A. So they're saying that this right here is the center of a circle, and this is part of an arc that would form a full circle right here and we're just seeing part of it so that's one arc and then they say AEC is an arc centered a circle at B excuse me so there'd be another circle going this way and they want to find the measure of angle EBA not shown so they're saying that there's an angle that goes from E to B to A now my first thought was oh it looks like a 45 degree angle but it's not true and um, what my colleague realized was that if this is a circle going this way oops still on the line tool if this is a circle right here then that means that this length is a radius and so is this and in fact any point touching that arc would be a radius including this line right here it's going to the circle so it's a radius well if that's true then if I draw a line this way to the same point so my drawing is a little bit off here this would also be a radius because it's going from the center of this to this arc right here it's a radius so if this is a radius and that's a radius and this is a radius we have a shape it's a triangle and every angle and every side is equal so that angle it was, let me just draw it one more time, the angle was E to B to A, that red angle formed right there, must be 60 degrees. It's an equilateral triangle. All three angles have to add up to 180 in this diagram. Another question they give us is, it's very similar to the other one that we just went over two questions ago. We're giving Paula is now four times the age of J. Lynn. Well, if Jalen is some age, Paula is four times that age. So Jalen will be 16 in 10 years. So whatever she is, if we add 10 years, she'll be 16. Because she's something now, and in 10 years she'll be 16. So how old was Paula four years ago? So let's figure out Jalen's age. Um, we subtract 10 from both sides, so that means she's 6 years old, uh, and that makes sense. She'll be 16 in 10 years, and Paula is four t is now 4 times the age of Jalen. Well, Jalen is 6 years old right now, and Paula is 4 times that, so she's 24. They put that choice there, but that's not what they want to know. They want to know how old was she 4 years ago. Well, if she's 24 now, then she was 20 4 years ago.